Each time you add a new audio track or instrument track in Record, a new channel is added to Record's mixer, and a new audio track device or mix channel device is added to the rack. Since the mixer itself cannot be visibly turned around to reveal audio connections, these rack devices provide access to the inputs and outputs of the mixer. In addition to audio connections, there are also control voltage inputs on each channel of the mixer to control the volume fader level and the stereo pan setting. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the control voltage output from a synthesizer to control the volume level of a channel on the mixer. First, I'm going to create an audio track. Then I'll double click on the Line 6 guitar amp device to use it as an insert effect on the audio track. I'll dial in a tone I like. and add some room reverb. Now I'll turn on the click, and turn on the pre-count so I can have a count in, and record a simple guitar part, so that I'll have something to loop as I work on this setup. Now I'm going to create a Subtractor Analog Synthesizer and delete the note lane, since I won't be playing any notes into the synthesizer anyway. Click the Tab key to turn the rack around and connect the control voltage output of Subtractor's LFO1 to the control voltage input for the audio track's volume level. Now I'll click F5 to show the mixer. I can delete the Subtractor channel, since there will be no audio output from Subtractor. I'll make sure to choose Delete Selected Only, or else the actual Subtractor would be deleted along with the mixer channel. Then I'll turn down the volume on the guitar track all the way. It will be controlled by control voltage from the Subtractor LFO, and would get super loud if I left the volume up. For additional control of volume while mixing, you can also use the CV level knob on the back of the audio track device or a combination of that knob and the volume fader on the mixer channel. Now I'm going to turn off the click and put the transport in loop mode and play what I recorded so that we can hear how the subtractor LFO is now controlling the volume level on this channel in the mixer. Each LFO wave type has a different sound. You can hear the shape of each wave type. I'm going to stick with the square wave. Now I'll turn on the click and activate the LFO's sync button. So now the LFO rate will be synced to the track and expressed as musical time divisions. Quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplet, sixteenth note, and thirty-second notes. Now I want to show you a way to automate these LFO rate changes. Right-click on the Rate knob and select Edit Automation. This creates a sequencer lane for LFO1 rate. Now I'm just zooming in and choosing a higher contrast track color. My snap is set to bar, so each time I click using my pencil tool, a bar length clip is created. When editing, I like to select my tools using the keys on my QWERTY keyboard 
instead of my mouse. Now I'll double click on the first clip so that I can edit it. Just drawing a single point in the clip will set the LFO rate for the entire bar. Now I'll drag over the right locator and loop that bar so that I can hear what I'm doing when I set the rate. I'll just use the value field in the inspector to raise the rate until I hear quarter notes. Then I'll loop the next clip. Sounds like eighth notes. Good. Now I can loop the third clip and set it for eighth note triplets. Loop the fourth clip and set it for sixteenth notes. And finally, set the fifth clip for thirty second notes. Now I'll click outside of those clips to get back to the normal view. And I'm going to right click on the first clip and select Add Labels to Clips. I want to label each clip according to its time division. That way, I can move the clips around later, copy and paste them, shorten or lengthen them, and always be able to see what rate each clip will produce, even without hearing it. So here's what this sounds like. Of course, you can use this to process other things besides guitar, even vocals. Once you have this setup done, you can save it and use it as a song template for other projects in the future. Thank <laughs> you.